Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss given a knowledge base, how can we convert the knowledge base into conjunctive normal form? Once we get the statement in conjunctive normal form, how can we apply the resolution refutation procedure so that we can prove the given sentence here? So, in this case, we have been given a knowledge base. Uh, this is how it looks like. It has uh, two clauses. The first clause is B11 biconditional P1, 2 or P2, 1. Second one is the negation of B11. Given this knowledge base, we want to prove alpha is equal to negation P1, 2. That means there is no pit in 1, 2 in this case. Now, how can we do this one? To do this, uh, first what we need to do is uh, we need to convert this particular term that is knowledge base and negation of alpha. So, what is the meaning of this one is we will consider that the given conclusion is invalid and then we will start applying unit resolution operator until we were able to prove whatever we have assumed that is wrong in this case. Before that what we need to do is we need to convert knowledge base and negation of alpha that is the contradiction of uh, the query into conjunctive normal form. If it is already present in conjunctive normal form, there is no need to do anything. If it is not present, we need to convert it into conjunctive normal form here. First, we will check it out. This is how the knowledge base and negation of alpha will look like. From here to here, it is a knowledge base and this is the negation of alpha. Why negation of alpha is written P1, 2? Alpha is a negation of P1, 2. Negation of this one will become what? P1, 2 in this case. Now, we will check it out whether this is in conjunctive normal form. We can see here there are mainly three clauses are there. From here to here, one clause. This is the second one and this is the third one. So, each of these clauses are connected by what? Conjunction. That's perfectly fine. And there is no issue with this and there is no issue with this uh, clauses here. But if you look at the first clause, the first clause contains biconditional in this case. So, somehow we have to remove this biconditional so that we will get the conjunction of clauses and each clause contains or connectivity in this case. So, what we do? We will follow a simple procedure uh, to convert the given uh, sentence into what is that known as a CNF. That I will discuss first. Later, we will go to resolution refutation procedure here. So, this is uh, the statement what we have. In this case, we have something known as uh, biconditional. We want to remove the biconditional. That is alpha biconditional beta is always equal to what? Alpha implies beta and beta implies alpha here. So, that is what I have done. B11 implies P1, 2 or P2, 1 and the second term implies first term in this case. Now, uh, you can see here there are two clauses are there. This is the first one and this is the second one. Each clause is connected by what? And in this case. But within this clause, we have again what? Implications in this case. So, we cannot uh, say that this is in CNF form. So, what we need to do is we need to eliminate implications. If you want to eliminate the implication, you can use this uh, equivalence that is alpha implies beta is always equal to negation of first term or beta in this case. So, this will become what? Negation of B11 or this particular term. That is what I have written here. This will become negation of this per first term or B11. So, that is what I have written here. Now, if you look at this one, uh, there is no issue with first one because this is the first conclusion. Each of these literals are connected by or here and second clause. Within this second clause, we have the negation outside the compound statement. So, that is not allowed in CNF. So, what we need to do? We need to take negation inside here. How can we take that one? We can use something known as uh, De Morgan's law and then we will take it inside. If I take this negation inside, this one will become negation of P1, 2. Previously, it was or. Now, it has become and negation of P2, 1 here. Now, again, if you look at it, there is no problem with this clause, but there is some issue with respect to this clause here. Because we have and connectivity as well as or within this clause here. So, that is not allowed. What we need to do is we need to use something known as distributive law. We need to distribute B11 to negation of P1, 2 ones and it has to be distributed to negation of P2, 1. So, how it will look like? Negation of P1, 2 or B11. So, that is what I have written here. This and will come outside here. Negation of P2, 1 or B11, that is what I have written here. So, totally we got three clauses here. This is the first clause, second clause, third clause. Each of them are connected with, you can see here, and, and within each clause, we have what is that known as the OR operator in this case. So, this is what the 
CNF equivalent of this first term. So this is what uh, the complete conclusion what we have here. The CNF equivalent of this one I have already calculated. I will replace it from here to here. It is a CNF equivalent of this particular term here. And negation of B11 is already present. P12 is already present here. And this P12 is what? Negation of uh, alpha in this case. Now we have converted our uh, uh, sentence or the knowledge base into something known as conjunctive normal form. Now we will apply resolution repetition procedure here. What we do in this particular case is we will take the negation of uh, the conclusion as said earlier. Conclusion is a negation of P1, 2. Its contradiction is or the negation is P1, 2 over here. Now what we want to do? End result we are expecting is null. If we get the null, the meaning of this one is what we have assumed is wrong. That is negation of alpha. Actually alpha is a true statement in this case or a valid statement. To cancel it out, we have to find a particular uh, clause which will cancel this one. Now, if you look at this carefully, we have P1, 2. Here also P1, 2, we cannot cancel it out. P1, 2, P1, 2 is there. If you take these two things, this one and this one, you can cancel these two terms. If you cancel it, what will remain here? Only B1, 1 will remain. So, this is the best option. So, I will select this one. That is negation of P1, 2 or B11. The same thing I have written here. Now between these two, P1, 2 is present in one clause. Negation of P1, 2 is present in second one. We will cancel it out. What is remaining now? Only B11 is remaining here. Now because B11 is remaining in this case, what we need to do is we need to select a clause which will lead us to null. That is what our intention. So B11 is present here and negation of B11 is present. If I select this one, B11 and negation of B1 will, will be get cancelled. Again, we will get two terms here. So, this is again an extra term we are getting. So, this is not the suitable one. Similarly, if you go on checking here, I think this is the best option. We have B11 here. In this case, negation of B11, both of them will get cancelled. We will get null in this case. So, I will select that uh, clause here. B11 is present here. Negation of B11 is present here. If I cancel these two things, we will get something known as the null in this case. So, what it shows is, we have started with the negation of the conclusion and we end up with something known as null set here. The meaning of this one is what we have assumed or from where we have started that is not correct. So what is correct in that case? Negation of P12 is the correct one. Given the knowledge base, we were able to prove the given uh, uh, sentence in this case. So this is the simple procedure what we need to follow whenever we want to prove the given uh, sentence using resolution repetition procedure. I hope the concept of uh, resolution repetition procedure is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.